Today we're going to be doing another budget fishing challenge video. You guys seem to really like this series and that is awesome because it's actually a lot of fun for me. We've done this challenge at Walmart, Cabela's, Dick's, Bass Pro Shops, but today it is time for a new store. So the last couple times I did this challenge I asked you guys to put in the comments below what stores you guys would like to see me do next. And you guys would be surprised at how many people said this one store. That store is Target. I'm not even sure if my Target has fishing stuff. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen any fishing stuff in my local Target. But at the same time I was not looking for fishing gear so maybe it's hidden somewhere. Or maybe they don't have any at all. I'm not really sure so let's get over there. Let's see what they got and let's get this day started all right so we are here we have made it to target you guys know how these fishing challenges work today i'm gonna have a budget of 25 dollars with that 25 dollars i have to buy rod reel line lures everything that i need to get on some fish today let's see what they got here all right we are now entering target now this will definitely be interesting I have absolutely no clue which way to go and this place is packed. I did not expect it to be this packed today. I mean, it is attached to the mall, but as I said before, like I've never seen any fishing stuff in a Target. I don't think there's a fishing section, so it's gonna be in some like kind of other section here. I, I have no clue. Yo, this is actually really sick. One day. I seriously have literally no clue where I'm going here. I mean, I ended up in the toy section. Definitely not seeing any fishing rods. Okay, so I actually see a sign over here, sporting goods. That is probably my best, but I didn't even know they had sporting goods section in Target. All right, here we are, sporting goods section. Got some tennis rackets, baseball bats, balls. Not seeing any fishing stuff. All right, here's another sporting goods section. I know they have some bike seats, scooters. So my Target does in fact have fishing stuff. I mean, it's not a lot. But here we go, this is the whole fishing section. It looks like we have three options, except this one in the middle is actually broken, so it looks like we have two options. All right, so first we got this $24.99 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Kids Spin Cast. Looks like it comes with a little tackle box. So this combo here comes with a tackle box, safety hook, practice casting plug, and a bonus snap swivel. So this is pretty decent, except there's no lures. I don't think I could really use this for the challenge. I mean, it fits our budget, but we're not going to be able to fish with anything. Except this casting plug here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back. Let's take a look at this broken rod. $22.79, and like, what is going on here? This is like what happened to my frozen rod in the Walmart challenge. Holy sh But anyway, let's see what this one comes with. So it looks like it comes with some grubs, some split shots, some bobbers. And the interesting thing that comes with this is this little gulp wax worms. That's actually pretty cool. But again, this rod is busted. It would have fit our budget. It might have been a contender, but we'll just leave that guy there. Last but not least, we have the Shakespeare Ugly Stick Combo. This is actually $24.99. Let's take a look at this guy. So far, this is actually looking pretty nice. You guys know I love ugly stick rods. I use my GX2 a lot. It comes with this Shakespeare reel. This looks similar to the one that I got in my Cabela's fishing challenge, but it's not the exact same one. And this actually comes with a lot of stuff. Multi-species. So it looks like we have some split shots, some hooks, some grubs, some marabou jigs, some bobbers. I mean, this actually looks pretty solid. So I mean, to be honest, I'm not really sure if I have a choice to make here today. I can either get a broken rod, a rod that has no lures, or I can get this ugly stick set up. So you guys know the obvious choice here. All right, let's go check out. Just kidding, guys. We're going to snag this guy. This is $24.99. That fits our budget perfectly, and it looks like there's actually some decent stuff in here. So let's go check out. Let's get to the water and see what we can do today. So I am actually going to be fishing at a new pond that I've never fished at. I didn't even know there were fish in this pond. Hopefully, we can actually pull some fish out of there. All right, so we're at this new park. Let's go check it out. All right, so this is what we're going to be working with here today. I got to admit, it's looking pretty good. Let me get this rod put together. All right, so here's the box that came with this little combo. Honestly, this looks like some pretty good stuff. My goal for the day is to catch at least one fish on every one of these lures. So one thing I'm already noticing about this pond is that there's a lot of grass. All right, so I went ahead and put a float on here because I just keep snagging all this grass. So I'm gonna try to toss this over there by the fountain and I, I don't know, man. I'm gonna see if anything wants this. All right, guys, well, we gave it a chance. This pond is not really suitable for the fishing we're trying to do today. So I think our best bet is to uh, switch ponds here. All right, so we're now at another pond. I think this pond is gonna suit our needs a little bit better when it comes to this style of fishing. Is that a fish? Oh, we got a big one here. No matter where I'm fishing, there's always at least one tree cast. Oh, there's another one. Hey, you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. First day fishing? Yeah. Yeah, I saw your videos. What's up, man? Really good videos. Nice to meet you. Thanks, nice man. To meet you, What's your name? Joseph. I drove over here to this brand new pond that I found on Google Maps. I have zero clue if I'm allowed to fish here. I walked around a little bit. I did not see any no fishing signs. However, there is this big fence here. But I mean, like, there's only so much a fence can really do. Let's get down here. I mean, I can't really see why people would be upset if I'm fishing over here. Like, there's literally nothing over here. So at this point, I was starting to get convinced that the fishing gods were against me. I mean, as you guys just saw, I went to four ponds the day before this, and I did not get any fish. Like, how is that even possible? Catching fish at these ponds on these target lures turned out to be pretty challenging. Especially when I go out again the next day to this pond, and then it doesn't produce. And then I head over to a creek, do some wading, and then that doesn't produce either. So I was starting to get really frustrated. So I took a little break, went to Chick-fil-A, and prepared to go to the next spot.
What the heck is that? Dude, what? I freaking, oh my God, I freaking hooked a turtle. Basically what just happened is that I dropped my line down there and I had a tangle in my reel that I was trying to get out. As you guys can see, it's a big mess right here. And then this turtle, I really don't know what to do here. All right, well, he just snapped my line. What the heck, man? Do you guys see this mess? That has honestly got to be one of the first times I ever hooked a turtle. That was definitely interesting. Now I got to fix this mess. There's a fish on the tube. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like a nice little large mouth. Oh, come here. Oh my gosh. Guys, we got a pickerel. Oh my God, please don't break my line. I don't have a leader. Oh man, I've never caught a pickerel in this water before. Yo, this is sick. Yo, that is crazy. Oh no, 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 no. So there we go, guys. A nice chain pickerel on the tube. Here we go on the target setup. That is so sick. Let's let this guy go. He's not very happy. You all right there, buddy? Oh, he's ready to go. There he goes. That is so cool. I have never caught a chain picker out of this water. And to actually land that guy on this little target combo with six pound test and no leader, that is pretty awesome. Just to show you guys what I caught this guy on, it was this tube on a little white jig head. You can kind of say we caught that turtle on a little marabou jig. It was not this exact jig, it actually snapped off. Now I'm gonna switch over to this little grub and see if we can get anything. And after this grub, I think we've pretty much covered everything in this box. All right, so I actually spent a little bit of time casting this grub, and I've kind of come to the conclusion that it's really not worth spending my time trying to catch any kind of fish on this grub. Cause I mean, this is literally so similar to the marabou jig and to the tube. So I'm kind of switch up the strategy a little bit. So this target setup actually did come with hooks and sinkers. So let's try this out. To be honest, I feel like most people who are buying this setup are just gonna end up using this, whether it's like beginners or little kids. All right, so this is gonna be our next test here. I have some small split shots on here. I have a hook. Both of those came with the combo. And all I'm gonna do is rig up this night crawler. I'm gonna give this guy a toss out there and see what happens. There's a bite. Oh, I just got off. Oh, honestly, I think I know the problem with this reel. Have you guys ever had that experience before when you put too much line on your reel and then line that's not supposed to actually ends up coming over and it's just a big mess? I think that's a problem with this setup. There's a fish. Finally, this guy did not get away. Yo, that's crazy. This guy's actually been caught before. As you guys can see, this is the line and hook that I just pulled out of his mouth. And I guess this poor guy actually swallowed somebody else's hook, but they left this line a little bit too long. So I'm gonna help him out. I'm gonna cut this a little bit. All right, there you go, buddy. That should be a bit more comfy. So yeah, guys, just a tip. If you ever do go hook a fish and cut the line, oh, dang it. Just be sure to cut it as close to the fish's mouth as possible. It'll definitely cause the fish a little bit less pain. So I guess you could say that bluegills are our third species for the day. That is if you count the turtle. There we go. There's another one. There we go, guys, another bluegill. Let's let him go. Some other species around here has to bite the nightcrawler. There's a fish. Oh, what do we have here? Oh my gosh, do you see that jump? Well guys, there you go. That is definitely an interesting shaped bluegill. I don't know, just something about his head looks a little weird. That was literally so awesome how he jumped though. I've never seen a bluegill do that. There it goes. All right, so let's kind of talk about this challenge and what actually happened. I have to admit, this target challenge is one of the hardest challenges that I've had to do on this channel yet. To be honest, it was pretty frustrating. It took seven spots to actually get some fish on these lures. Seven spots. That was definitely a lot of time, a lot of miles driven. It was just really frustrating. The first day of this challenge, I went to four ponds. The problem with jigging these little lures in summertime ponds is that there's just so much grass, so much pond scum. It could be really hard to properly jig the lure. And the second day I went to that new pond, I didn't really know what to expect. I just kind of found it on Google Maps. It did not turn out to be too good for what I was doing. So then I took my target lures to the creek because I've always done pretty good with little jigs at the creek Except this time I went exploring in a part of the creek that I've never been to before I waited around I got skunked and then I finally went to the last spot where I got on a few fish the seventh spot I did manage to get on a few fish at this pond I also managed to catch a turtle But as I was editing it last night because of the camera angle You literally couldn't even see the turtle, but it was really cool that I caught that pickerel I've never caught a pickerel out of that water before and pickerel are just all around pretty cool fish They really do have a cool design on their body. It kind of looks like some kind of lightning So yeah, that was definitely awesome that I caught that and then after that I just caught a few sunfish but man was this video a struggle i was kicking myself over it too because i'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to these videos and i just kept thinking to myself like this is not enough content for the video this is not enough fish you need to get back out there with this target setup i was tempted to get back out there and go again today but i mean then i started thinking about it and i have so much more content so many more ideas that i want to bring to you guys i don't think it's really worth it to spend a whole another day on this target video i mean i really have spent a lot of time on this video so that's going to be all the fishing that there is for this video i mean i'm sure if i was using worm imitations or some kind of frog or something that would probably work a lot better in these ponds that i went to but these 
target lures, man. It was really just a struggle. But that's all right, man. I gave it my best shot. And I have a lot of exciting things coming in the near future. Like, really exciting things. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm also excited to get back out there and start throwing some more frogs. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm addicted to topwater fishing. Especially frog fishing. It is just so addicting. So hopefully after I edit and upload this video today, I can get out there with some frogs. Let me take a second and talk about the actual target combo itself. The rod just seems pretty solid. You guys know I'm a big fan of ugly stick rods. It is a two-piece light action rod. It honestly feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like it's just going to snap. I actually really like the rod. On the other hand, the reel is kind of annoying. The problem with the reel is that they spooled it with way too much line. Sometimes when you go to cast some line that's not supposed to comes out and you got to pull all the line out and then it's just a big tangle. And that definitely added to the whole struggle. Once I pulled a lot of the line out, it did not have that problem. Other than that, the reel was okay. I didn't really like the feel of it. It wasn't the smoothest reel, but I mean, it definitely got the job done. Overall, I would actually suggest this combo, but only to kids or beginners. But yeah, man, overall this target challenge, I, I don't know what to say. The struggle is real. But I mean, this is just realistic. Sometimes you have to work for your fish. By the way, I am opening a P.O. box and I do have a lot of announcements coming. So if you guys want to know about those, definitely follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description. That is where I'm going to be putting a lot of my announcements and information. I have to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video and for all the support. We just hit 35,000 subscribers. This is amazing. Let's keep this rolling. I know this wasn't the best fishing video, but I gave it a lot of effort. And what more can I really do, man? I'm ready to move on to newer projects. As I said before, I have a lot of surprises coming your guys' way. But yeah, guys, again, I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next video.